Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Today we are going to do a fresh clean install of Linux Mint 22 aka Wilma. We'll be using the Cinnamon Edition and just a heads up, this will become part of a bigger series where I show you guys how to turn Linux Mint into the ultimate local artificial intelligence monster. Large language models, deep fakes, image generations, all open source, all local. You're not sending anything to these big companies. You don't have to worry about privacy. You don't even need internet to run these things. But more on that later, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. But today we're gonna do a clean install, so let's jump in. All right, head on over to the download link. I have that in the description for you guys. Scroll down, you'll see the download mirrors. Go ahead and pick a mirror of your choice. I'm gonna use the first USA one. Click on that and that'll kick off the download. Give it a few minutes and we'll come back when that is done. While that's downloading, let's take a look at one of the best things that you can do right now, and that is download VMware Workstation Pro. It is now free. This used to be over a $100 product, and if you're using it for personal use, as you see there, this is absolutely free. Link in the description. If you don't have it, download it right now. We will be installing this to a virtual machine today, but you can follow along and do it on a laptop, PC, whatever you got. Just do the same steps besides the VMware stuff, obviously. I recently did a full video on VMware Workstation 17 Pro once it was free for personal use. If you're interested in that, it shows you how to get it downloaded, how to install it, the basics, the whole rundown. I'll link a card to that right now in case you're interested. All right, the download has completed, so jump into VMware if you're using it. If not, go ahead and skip ahead to the installation. Go to File, New Virtual Machine. You can keep the basics here, click Next. Go ahead and point to the ISO, wherever that was. Mine obviously is in the download folder. Yours probably will be too. Hit Next. Change that to Linux, and Linux Mint is an Ubuntu-based distribution, so go ahead and choose Ubuntu and give this thing a name. I'm gonna call mine Mint 22. And you can put it wherever you want. The default's gonna be on your C drive. I do have a secondary MVME drive in this thing. So I'm gonna put it on my D drive and under virtual machines, I have a folder dedicated to those and then I'll create a new folder just for this guy. All right, go ahead and click next. And here you can select whether or not you wanna resize that disc. It starts out at 20. I'm gonna bump this up to 128 because as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this will eventually become a prototype for the ultimate Linux Mint AI operating system. I'm gonna do a single file because I may be converting this later on and then I'll up the resources here. Uh, do this as you please, obviously optional. So I'm gonna give it eight gigs of RAM. I'm gonna give it four cores. Once you're happy with your settings there, go ahead, I actually give it eight cores. Once you're happy with your settings there, go ahead and click close and finish. And now all that's left to do is power this thing on and get it running. All right, a little blurry here. I zoom it in before VMware Tools is installed. So just go ahead and hit Start Linux Mint. This will boot you into the live OS. Double click on the Install Linux Mint icon on the desktop, and that'll kick off the installation process. All right, go ahead and walk through this wizard. Uh, if you're from America, most of this will be next next. So pick your language, pick your keyboard layout. Uh, up to you to install multimedia codecs. You can always throw these things in later. Woohoo, we're to a point where I can zoom out. We've got some display drivers installed. All right, here's, I'm just gonna select, uh, go ahead and delete everything on this hard drive and install Linux Mint. It's the only thing that's gonna be on here. Again, VM for demonstration purposes. Go ahead and click next. This will show you the partitions that it's going to create. If you're cool with that, click continue. This give it one second, and then we'll be brought to the geographic locations menu. Make sure you select the correct location here for your time zone, click next. All right, now give it a name. This is actually your name, but you can put whatever you want. By default, it's gonna match that to your username. You can make them different, but I don't see why you would. Go ahead and also modify the computer name. By default, it's just gonna tack some junk onto the username. You probably don't want that. So I'm doing IT Unicorn for username. I'm doing Mint22 for the computer name. And then go ahead and give it a password. Put that in again to verify. And then I would suggest requiring a password to log on. If you wanna go ahead and do auto log on, that's on you, just know what you're getting into. All right, click continue when you're ready. This is gonna bake a bit. We'll fast forward and come back when it's done. All right, once that's done and you'll be asked to reboot, go ahead and click restart now. You get to a point where it says remove the installation media and press enter. So if you've got a thumb drive in or whatever, pop that out, hit enter. And that'll bring us right back to Linux Mint. Go ahead and log in. And congratulations, you have a fresh install of Linux Mint 22, AKA Wilma. 
Now this step is optional, but if you are a blind old man like me, follow along. I'm in VMware, so I'm gonna go ahead and go full screen. If you're not in VMware, you can skip that. Now I'm gonna change the display settings. This is the equivalent of scaling in Windows. So go ahead and right click the desktop, go to display settings, and down there you can just click on 100, 200, 300, 400. I think 300, 400 are extreme, but I like 200. So I'm gonna keep this new configuration and I'll exit out of this dialog box. And now you can see that the taskbar and any icons if we had them on the desktop would be doubled in size. So if you're a blind old man, this will probably help you out. I know it helped me out. Hey, don't think about leaving yet. We're not done guys. Now that we have it installed, let's go ahead and do some housekeeping, get everything up to date. I know we have the latest OS version, but it's still best practice to do what I'm gonna do here. Crack open a terminal, do a sudo apt update. This is gonna pull in all the latest packages. This doesn't actually update anything. It just gives you the latest version of all the packages. So now you need to do a sudo apt full upgrade. Go ahead and say yes. And this will take a second to install all the latest packages that we have and get us fully up to date. Nice work there, guys. Just in case there's anything to clean up, do a sudo apt auto remove. Probably won't have anything because that full upgrade usually takes care of that by itself. All right, now do a sudo apt install git because we're going to use this later on if you guys follow along in my series. Plus, you're probably going to want it anyway. All right, so out of the gate, we've got Python 3 installed here, 3.12 that is. But trust me, do a sudo apt install python3 hyphen pip. Thank me later. You're going to need this. Trust me. All right, next up, we're going to install the virtual environment for Python. So you're going to do a sudo apt install python3 hyphen venv. You are definitely going to need this because when you're following along with me in this series to create the ultimate artificial intelligence Linux Mint operating system, we're going to have so much going on. But don't worry, I'm going to provide every single command for you line by line, walk you through it all. We're going to have so much awesome local artificial intelligence tools to play with, it's gonna be amazing. But going back to the point of the virtual environment, we're gonna be running different versions of Python, different versions of a lot of different libraries and modules within Python. So containerizing those within a virtual environment, hence the installation of VEMV is super important. All right, guys, you now have a clean install of the latest version of Linux Mint, that is 22 AKA Wilma, Buckle up, you are ready to follow along and create the ultimate local open source artificial intelligence tool set writing on Linux Mint. I hope you guys are excited for the series because I know I am. We're going to do everything from multiple large language models, which is basically replacements for ChatGPT. But hold on, it's better than ChatGPT. That's my opinion. Why? Well, first of all, it's free. Free is always the best. Like my wife says, if it's free, it's for me. Maybe I say that because I'm the frugal one. But anyways, these large language models that we're going to look at, first of all, we're going to have a ton of options. We're going to install multiples, and I'm going to set you up with the tools you need to install as many as you want. And they're always rele releasing new ones because this is open source, and open source developers are awesome, right? They always release new stuff, and it's free. Uh, it's free. That's the best thing right there. Back to the point. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit pumped about this. Um, it's also uncensored. So bye-bye to big tech. You know when you try to post things on Facebook and it gets blocked? Well, maybe you don't, but some people do. Uh, this is completely uncensored. So use it at your own risk, but just know that it won't filter things out just because it doesn't like what you're talking about. So you have privacy. You have freedom. It's free. Oh, yeah. And also, it has an API. So you can pull from it with an API or you can even integrate it, create your own API and integrate it into your custom applications. And we just talked about the chatbot large language models. We're also gonna look at things like deep fakes. So we're gonna be able to do face swaps on images, face swaps on videos. Then I'm gonna show you an awesome tool called Stable Diffusion. And by the way, if I didn't mention this yet, guys, we're gonna be able to do all this without a GPU. So you can do this on any machine with a CPU, running an open source operating system, running all open source, unfiltered, uncensored, large language models, AI tools. It's gonna to be amazing. So you're gonna be able to do image generation with Stable Diffusion. And by the way, Stable Diffusion has a ton of different models. They call them weights, and you can try all kinds of stuff out, tweak the settings to get all kinds of cool results. 
And another great thing about this, guys, there's a huge community for a lot of this stuff, Stable Diffusion especially. So people will help you out with the different prompts, the tricks, the tweaks, all that. So you can get high quality images. I mean, just out of this world images, absolutely free. And you can do it on your local PC with no GPU. All right. So we're going to do all that. We'll also take a look at some things like text to speech and probably some other stuff too as we go along. Again, make sure you subscribe, guys, because I don't think you're going to want to miss this series. This may end up becoming the ultimate artificial intelligence USB, where I package all this up on a super high performance drive, maybe an MVNE and a 3.2 enclosure, and you can put it in your pocket and take it wherever you go. And you've got all these open source, free, uncensored, unfiltered AI tools right in your pocket. Anyways, click that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, guys, and stay tuned because there's a lot more good stuff to come very soon. Hope you all have a great day. Until the next one, take care.